Light off. The light is off. There you go. Here. Here, Daddy. Let's go get your pancakes. They're ready. No. Yeah. Yeah, there's your milk. Here. Oh. Alright, so I am going to test out these shoes. Last mile I ran was 11 minutes and uh, 11 minutes and 30 seconds, I believe, somewhere around in there. Um, I think it was 11:21 actually. But um, I'm going to test these shoes out. Uh, I'm not necessarily trying to compete with myself today as much as I mean, you know, if it's a little over 12 or something, I want to stay in that 11 to 12 minute range um, and and kind of go from there. So, but uh, I'm anxious to see these shoes. They do feel like they have a lot more padding. Obviously, they're not skate shoes. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna go run and then we will talk about it. All right, so I am finished. I ran a mile, I uh, actually ran like 1.1, it was a little, uh, one, a little over 1.1, but uh, I ran it in 10 minutes and eight seconds, man. I was eight seconds from being at a sub 10 minute mile, which for somebody that's 240 pounds uh, and hasn't ran in a long, long time, that's not bad. My cardio is still solid. It's not great, but it definitely could be better, but it's, it's definitely okay. Um, I just need to work on getting my legs stronger and uh, and I think I'll be good. So far this week, I've ran 3.36 miles, which it is Saturday. I'm not sure if the Under Armour app resets on Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. So that'll probably be the total for this week. But um, I'm pretty happy with that. I started Tuesday, I did every other day because I love running and I was so afraid that if I came out here multiple, especially with as bad as my legs were hurting from where I hadn't ran in a long time, carrying the weight and stuff like that, I was really, really afraid that if I didn't kind of slow into it, um, that I could really, really hurt myself and then really not want to do it because I love running, man. I know that's such a weird thing to say. You wouldn't think that being as big as I am, but I've talked about running on this channel before. It's how I lost a ton of weight in the beginning back in 2009, 2010, but I absolutely love running and after three days in, man, I feel like I'm rehooked, like finally rehooked. Now, I'm not gonna paint this as some sort of miraculous thing that I've been some great runner. I'm definitely gonna talk about the woes as well. I was really, really disappointed on Tuesday when I came out. Tuesday, I did not run a full mile. Actually, I ran the first lap and my legs were hurting so bad. My cardio was okay. I wasn't as out of breath as what you would think I was. I was out of breath, but not bad. I can generally control my breath, so that's not too, too bad. But I was, uh, which I sound like I'm out of breath now, but I'm. I'm good, that's just my breath kind of re-catching. But uh, I ran the first lap and then almost had to run the straights and walk the curves. Um, I, I mean, I did run a little more consistently than that, but I definitely didn't make it all the way through. And then Thursday, when I came out, I ran the first half mile and then I walked the first curve and then I finished that finished the, the uh, third lap for the three quarter mile. And then that last lap I had to stop twice because again, my legs were just so burnt out and uh, you know, just not being able to catch my breath. I started stitching real bad as well, but um, so that was Thursday, and I was bummed out about both of those days. But then I decided today I came out and I said, okay, I know that I can get through basically about three quarters of a mile or almost three quarters of a mile for sure. That was what I was shooting for. But it's one of those things where in your brain, um, I was going, and once I hit three quarter of a mile, I was like, what's the point in stopping? Like, you just have one lap left. You can do one lap. Um, you can do one lap and you'll be fine. So finish that. So today on the third day was the first day that I ran a full mile without stopping. But, uh, you know, and, and I do plan on just going more, um, not this coming week, this coming week, I plan on doing four to five days because again, I don't want to destroy my, ultimately I'd love to run every day or take one day off, 
but uh, I'm gonna do a mile. I'm, I don't wanna push myself too far. I'm walking right now because I wanna, I wanna run a mile, and now if I can go more, I'm going to, um, but I'm not gonna take it up to like running a 5K next week. I'm gonna run a mile, and if I'm feeling pretty good, if my legs are feeling pretty good and stuff like that, then I will probably continue onward, maybe do a mile and a quarter or something like that. Pro tip. Bring a towel so you don't get your sweat all over your seats. Now, one thing I want to talk about, these shoes. The shoes that I bought at Walmart, the $10 Walmart specials, they were $9.88 or $9.98, um, are really, really good. Uh, these shoes are comfortable. They breathe because they're mesh, and they provide a ton of support that my skate shoes obviously did not. If you don't have um, like a ton of money or anything like that, which I do not, these things right here, $10.00 and they work honestly really, really good. They're very, very lightweight. Um, they don't feel super, super cheap. I mean, they feel like they'll probably give out shorter than say a little bit more expensive pair, but for 10 bucks, man, to get yourself into it and going, highly, highly, highly recommend. Which that review will be updated obviously as I go on. If these break apart in a week, I'll let you know. But as of right now, highly recommend. Here's Pablo's back I was telling you about. Poor boy, do you like that? Huh? No. My poor boy. Poor boy. Red light. Oh, on this. Oh, 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 you're tripping over the red light. Oh. Okay. That's not how you do red lights. Red, red light. Oh, green light. Red. <laughs> All right, guys, I am going to end the vlog here. Spent the rest of the day kind of just hanging out with Noah and family. My buddy Gabe came up from Florida, and uh, this is one of the first times that he's been in since I've stopped vlogging, even though I've been done for like a year. But from where he lives in Florida, he only comes up like once a, uh, once a year. Actually, I think I was done last year. Or maybe I was like partially vlogging. Anyway, so just hang out with him and stuff. But uh, I wanted to leave this kind of just at the review of those running shoes and kind of getting back into it. But anyway... I'm enjoying vlogging. It's not feeling like a job. My camera is clicking and I don't know why it's doing that. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. It seems like it. Yesterday had a, a t or today had a ton of great support from uh, the vlog and, and, and tons of comments and stuff. And it's been really, really cool. So um, thanks everybody. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with me even through the uh, weird period where I was trying to figure out what, uh, what I was doing and what was going on and all that stuff. But, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and, uh, I will see you guys in the next video.